Is it, can the camera see my stuff? I can see your Yeah, I was pants. just gonna say, yeah. you can see your pants <laughs> on the ground. Okay, 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 okay. The tiny whiteies. They're not tiny whiteies. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. Welcome back to Timeless Talks. You got your host here, Chris Ramsey, and my boy. Nico, the Puerto Rican Schultz, and we got two superstars right here to the left. Some call them the voting <laughs> champion. Some call them Jess and Ass. Go ahead and introduce your guys' selves. Who is on the podcast today? Um, my name's Jess. I'm a pole vaulter on the Nebraska track and field team. And my name's Ashley, and I'm a triple jumper on the track and field team. <laughs> we are very glad to have you guys today. How do you guys feel on doing your first ever podcast? I'm um, pretty excited about it. I'm kind of nervous. Yeah. Don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm going to have you guys go ahead and just talk about yourselves for a little bit. Get, let the uh, people know who you are just to ease the tension here. So I'm going to start with you, Jess. Uh, Icebreaker, talk? what's your favorite colors? Purple. Oh <laughs> purple, twins. That's green. Yours. Green? Yeah, that's me too. Purple. It's something about purple, man. It's just like calm, but it's also like, it's not red, but it's not blue, you know? Purple. Okay. <laughs> it's a mix. It's a mix. It's, a mix. it's not two color. other yeah. colors. It's this facts, color. Facts. Facts. And green, Incredible Hulk. Yeah. She Hulk. Love him. She Hulk? <laughs> you love him? Have you seen She Hulk? No, I haven't. Okay. You can't it's say good. love What's She Hulk? I, that's what I say too. I haven't seen it uh, personally, but I know like it's a thing. <laughs> I know it's a thing, okay. but I haven't seen it. Word. But you, okay. yeah, I thought y'all would. Okay, we'll get into it. We'll get into it. Purple I'm blue. Green. But Jess, how did you end up at the University of Nebraska? Walk us through your story and how you ended up being a football team. Okay, so I started as a gymnast. I was a gymnast for 11 years up until I was going into high school. So I thought that I'd do that in college until um, I broke my foot doing my acro series on beam. And then I ended up quitting gymnastics in high school. I did diving and pole vault and right. I really liked pole vault and I was really good at it and Nebraska just was a really good school with a good program and close to my family so I came here. Are you from? You're not from here, right? I'm from Lincoln. From Lincoln. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, okay, okay. Lincoln okay. Sauce. So I came to Nebraska uh, I'd always wanted to go to like a power five school but since I'm from Montana I was kind of thinking Pac-12 but then I heard from Nebraska and I came on my visit and I honestly like had no idea like how cool it was down here and everything. But my parents were super excited when I, we came down and I came, we became really excited about it and kind of fell in love with like the campus and everything. And kind of when I came here, I knew I had to go here because it seemed like a really good fit. So yeah. Okay, okay, okay. You guys are really good friends by the way too. Can you guys give them a story about how you guys met? We met <laughs> on my birthday. Yeah. First day, do you remember like, the intro thing when you first get to campus, they make you do like your physicals and check um, out your computers and all that wait, stuff. Do you yeah, know what I'm talking I didn't about? Do that. And so we were put in like a group together and we kind of like locked eyes, like mm -hmm. we're gonna sit next to each other. So we're locked eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Not like weird like that, but oh, you know what I mean. Like yeah. we're like you and me, like we're yeah, sitting next exactly. to each other. And then Ash didn't have some paperwork filled yeah, out. Yeah, because like in the state of Montana, you're like 18, you're an adult. Right. You don't have to have your parents sign forms. So when my parents left, like they dropped me off for school and they missed like one or two forms. And uh. so I wasn't allowed to get my computer because I didn't have a wow. parent signature. And it was just really funny. <laughs> Jess and I kind of bonded over that because it was just an awkward experience. There's, it was a whole ordeal. The yeah. lady was really upset at Ash. Yeah, she was <laughs> really <laughs> upset at me. So it was funny and yeah. Just, I remember just being like, we're, we're hanging out tonight for my birthday, like blah, blah, blah. And I was like, sweet, let's do it. And then just became really good friends. Yeah, straight to it, man. Yeah. Twin flames. That's the story we love flames. to hear. Yeah, man. Those are people you, you know, you got to meet right there. And when it comes to college, you know, those experiences, you know, connections, they last forever. So it's good that y'all met each other, you know, mm -hmm. tapped in. Go Dynamic to duo. Also letting the people know who you guys are. Uh, what do you guys like to do in hobbies, free times? Uh, like, what's your guys' niche? Um, a lot of things. I don't know. What do we like to do in the free time? We like to go to the sauna. <laughs> we, do. we like to go to the sauna and read our books. Yes. Really? Which uh, sounds really we are lame. Like, we are no, coffee connoisseurs. Cool. Cool. We love really? coffee. We I like love, to do yoga. We like yoga. We like going on walks, hikes. Out, outdoorsy activities. Are attached at so the we can start doing stuff like this. Look, have like a good friendship. <laughs> literally attached at the hip. Like, yeah, what do we like to do? Yeah, today we're going to do this. Y'all tap in. Yeah. Y'all tap in. Yeah, That's that a good advice, though, obviously. Okay, coffee. What's y'all favorite coffee? Do y'all got the same one or y'all? The 
Which isn't really a coffee. Yeah, I like energy drinks. And, mm. mm-hmm. Okay, okay. I like chai lattes. Chai lattes. Are those the cold or the hot ones? I'm not. Iced. I'm an iced, iced. coffee girl. Mm, I'm a hot really coffee girl. Nah, I like the hot stuff. Yeah, me too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> I do sir. not. <laughs> we're, we're iced. Twins. What's your favorite energy drink? Oh, I really like, so it's kind of controversial, but I like blue raspberry and toasted marshmallow flavors together. It tastes like um, cotton candy. Um, <laughs> no, that's nice. It's a weird. Blue well, raspberry it's like and... in Montana, they have this coffee hut that has it, like this combo. And so I would always get it when I was home. But then I tried to like incorporate it in Nebraska and I've gotten some backlash. So. That's crazy. That's <laughs> yeah. a crazy mix. Mm-hmm. It's Yo, actually not, not as lie. bad as you yeah, think. Yeah, it's though, actually good. Really? Don't knock it till you try it. All right, we'll hear that. Yeah, I got to try mm-hmm. that. I'm lucky. <laughs> I'll let you do it first and then you get back to yeah, me. Yeah, for sure, for sure, right, for sure. Okay, going into our next topic here. Um, social media, NAL, and just kind of the whole entire shebang. So uh, we were talking about before here, Jess actually just surpassed Chris here on Instagram followers. Did we have? <laughs> 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 Sorry, Chris. It's okay. We don't it's know okay. when, whenever we the video gets posted, we don't know who's going to be beating who. But let's start with here, uh, just to my left. Can you kind of just discuss social media, how you gained a following, and where you're planning on taking your social media presence? Yeah, so social media has always been like something I just did for fun. It was never anything serious. Um, I remember last year on Media Day, Taya, my friend on the track team, posted a picture of the two of us that like went really big on the Explore page, and I got like a ton of followers from it so I hit like 10,000 but after that like nothing really ever came of it like me and Ash would make TikTok sometimes for fun but nothing super serious um and then this last track season me and Ash were kind of like okay like if we start taking this serious like I think we could really do something with it so Mm -hmm. we've had two meets and we've just made TikToks at both those meets and things kind of started taking off from there. Man. Yeah, okay. it's, just, it's just the same presence too because you got really yeah. you're about to hit 100k right on tiktok oh yeah i hit it the other hey, day so congratulations, congratulations. <laughs> thanks thank Yo. you um yeah but it's always just been something that kind of did for fun jess and i honestly i've been making like we'd always make videos and they do well sometimes but then we'd we'd be like okay we're good for a year like we don't have to make <laughs> anything else year. like um but anyway it's become something really fun to do before meets and everything it's like an extra little fun thing as well as competing um and yeah no it's been super fun like the past two weeks have went really well for us on <laughs> social media so hopefully we can keep it rolling yeah what do you guys think the differences between this year and last year just like the success because last year like i said you guys would get a lot of following but like this year it's like times two like i saw you guys on the snapchat for you page the other day over here getting compared <laughs> to snapchat? Libby. like that's big time Jeez. honestly like like can you like what do you think it is the difference between last year versus this year i think um well for one nil like last year it wasn't I don't know. We didn't really know how far we could take it. And we'd get, like, little opportunities. But, like, this year it's just been way more fruitful for both of us. And so I think, like, just seeing other athletes, too, like, be able to monetize it and um, just how many, like, things you can get from having, like, a following and, like, just seeing the potential and how our videos could do was kind of exciting for us. So we were like, okay, we, like, need to get serious. (laughs) Like, we need to make content. And, like, yeah, so that's kind of. How we started rolling again. So do you guys have a plan in place for the season? Just kind of like where just you want like to Just like every media? meet, but just doing it more consistently. Yeah. Because we would like make one. <clears throat> like when we, our sophomore year, we had one that we made in our apartment that did like super well. Mm-hmm. Like got over a million views. And then we just didn't make anything for like <laughs> oh, yeah. months. Like, like we yeah, were just it. super inconsistent because we were just having fun with it. Right. Yeah. But now it's sort of like each meet. Is like we we don't have to say anything. We both know like okay, we'll make TikToks before and after we compete or yeah, that kind of stuff. Exactly, and or it's, we'll, it's we'll really send fun each other too. Videos. Yeah, we're always sending each other videos. We're like we obviously have kind of like goals about what we want to do, but it's also still just more fun and anything extra is kind of like an added bonus. So, and yeah, how do you guys like kind of like feel about it? Because a lot of people like try really really hard to get good views like you know they, they they buy things they put sets together and they're not even able to, to amount to, to the type of views that you guys are able to get like how does it feel to be able to gain like a following <laughs> like this just so fast like because i'm serious no like there's so many like 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 pages that are reposting you guys and stuff like that so like i just want to kind of get your perspective like how does it feel to kind of be like 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 on the top right now with that <laughs> <laughs> it's it's strange because like even that snapchat thing you were talking to me about like mm-hmm. Someone sent it to my dad, and like my dad <laughs> sent me. That's how you knew. A, uh, no, someone else had told me. My dad today was like, "Did you know about this? Like, someone <laughs> sent this to me." And Yo. but it was just like, it's really weird. Um, 
But I feel like we're just having a lot of fun with it, and that's why it's doing so well. Like, when it's really forced, yeah, you can tell. I agree. Like, it's been super fun, and we're, like, it's made us closer, and we've just had so much fun doing it together. And it's way more fun doing it with, like, a buddy and, like, just getting to kind of, like, enjoy the, not glory, but, like, the all that things with it. Together yeah. yeah. So it's been really fun. And it also is, like, a little bit less embarrassing to, yeah. to like, make it with someone as opposed to, like, filming yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Right, exactly. Yeah, it's way easier and it's way more fun and, yeah. So with the social media, there's always two sides to every single coin. So, like, there's always the views and not, like, the glory to it. And then there's also, like, the downside, too, where, like, there's a lot of comments. There's a lot of weird people out there. How do you guys handle that kind of side of things where, you know, people are saying some very outlandish things? Like, <laughs> yeah. Some, 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 some like, stalker-type people. Like, how do you guys kind of handle that with everything else going on here in life? I would say, oh, sorry. No, you, you got go? it. I would say for one, like, and this maybe sounds bad, but we were talking about this the other day. Like, after, like, having, like, a few videos do well, it's kind of like you're almost desensitized to some of the stuff people mm -hmm. are saying. And I feel like we're pretty, like, rooted in ourselves where we kind of, like, know who we are and kind of know what we stand for. So, like, anything that doesn't really align, it doesn't really affect us as much. Um, I feel like when I originally, like, started making v videos or we started making videos together, if we get, like, a negative comment, it, comment, it kind of, like, hurt or didn't make you feel very good. But now, honestly, like, I don't feel anything. Mm -hmm. like, I, don't I think know. it's just, like, important to not take anything personal. And just, yeah. like, understanding that, this, like, if the people who are out there, like, posting the mean things on your videos, like, they have their own things that they're dealing with that are way bigger than... Mm -hmm anything that has to do with your video you know so you kind of just have to take it with a grain of salt there is some stuff though like if it's like wildly inappropriate it's like i'm just gonna block you like you're not yeah. gonna put weird stuff on my page you're not gonna stress me out on my phone like yeah, yeah. see ya so if i happen mm -hmm. to see one i try not to look at them it's a lot easier too to like post and get off yeah. you know instead of like keeping up with it mm -hmm. um but if i happen to see one and it's like that's disgusting then it's just like blocked goodbye you mm -hmm. know what i mean not dealing with it mm -hmm. that's good because i mean that's really important too because you have to keep your energy and your page mm -hmm. like your stuff and like you said your dad came to you about something so if people are commenting like really out of pocket stuff like your family yeah if my dad saw the comments he'd have a heart attack yeah uh, that's <laughs> not good at all that's, that's good though for you guys i mean i feel like you guys are like in a really good spot like going into the season two i mean like you're putting Nebraska on the map. It sounds funny, but I'm serious. Like, <laughs> like literally, like, that post on the Snapchat, like, for you, Paige, like, that was crazy. It's like, a lot of other schools, like, are taking notice of it. So, I mean, like, congratulations to you guys. And Thank you. Thanks. social media success. Thank um, you. It's weird because it doesn't feel like... Yeah, it's just random. <laughs> yeah, like, it's like, we're just, just like, what's going on? Like, this is super just weird. Posting, it's like, we're wow, still just cool. the same people we were two it's, days it's ago. Like, so, yeah, it's, it's like... like 100k you know like these mm -hmm. things happen but it's like you go to bed in the same bed you wake yeah. up you go you do and it's the like, same thing it like, also sounds so big but then it's like i did like that's my it's just weird it's like what it hasn't like hit you guys yet in a way i don't really oh, feel yeah. like it's like that cool yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no that's a cool message to have on it like i don't know how do you feel about it me um i feel like it's it's a nice like uh like level type thing it's like like they said it's like at first, I used to think it would be like, oh, just a huge change in my life when it happened. But then when it happened, I was all like, wow, okay, it happened. You know, what's next type thing. So it's trying to, I guess it's figuring out, you know, like you guys said, you have goals for it. Now you're being consistent and stuff like that. So it's figuring out, okay, what's next to do, you know, um, okay, what's the next video I want to do, uh, so on and so forth. So um, There's I think levels it's like to it. Much There's levels to it because like, what are you at on TikTok? 80 something thousand. 80, and before season, I was at like 12. <laughs> yeah. Before the season, 12,000. Yeah, now she's insane. at 80, she's at 100, he's at 150, and I'm about a cool 2,000. So I'm not even <laughs> at the same table. So I'm still trying to like get a grasp on everything. Um, if there was any advice you have to give to people out there who want to grow their social media, mm -hmm. what advice would you have to them for them? Um, I would say, like, for TikTok, definitely like find a friend who you're really comfortable with and who enjoys making them as well. And like we said, making them together. Is, it's a lot of fun and it's just like a lot less awkward. Like mm -hmm. you can make a lot better content, I think mm -hmm. so. I would also say like, if you have like a few videos do bad, don't get discouraged. Like if it's something you want to do, then just keep pursuing it because I don't know, it'll all of a sudden you'll just have one and go crazy and I don't know. Sure. Don't give up. <laughs> What's up? Well, bet here. Let's that, I want to dive more into just your personal lives here. So, do you guys have any goals for you know any New Year resolutions that you guys are trying to accomplish, or goals just in general for uh, the year two thousand twenty-three? 
um, some New Year's things that I've been doing. So I deleted Snapchat. I'm trying to be like very intentional about my time on my phone and my communication. So I feel like just sort of eliminating a lot of the meaningless conversations or just like sending pictures of faces back and forth on Snapchat. It's just like sort of a waste of time. Um, Something else I've been doing is my dad is teaching me all of his recipes. So I got like a cookbook and I've been going out to his house and we've been like making meals. Um, yeah it's a lot of fun i don't know if there's anything else yeah um i'm reading the bible in a year uh which i'm also i'm reading and yeah (laughs) i'm reading it the physical way but like there's an app and you listen to like recaps and everything every day my parents did it and so i kind of wanted to do that this year and then i'm gonna try and read so last year my i didn't read at all and my goal was like 12 books so now i think it's gonna be like 24 or something oh, nice. so Dude, wait did you hit the 12 last year oh yeah I got like, <laughs> oh, nice. yeah that's really good we're going yeah. to sauna yeah. and reading yeah oh, nice. mm-hmm. like i'll should I tell you that 12 books a year yeah a book every month yeah Have you mm-hmm. done your well book? i just feel like i wasted yeah. so much time too on like travel trips like on oh, yeah. my phone doing nothing i was like i could have been reading that's, that's fair that's actually crazy i think we all <laughs> just got to tap in with books that's amazing wait what books are you guys interested to uh into just like on the regular um my book for jay January that I am almost done with is called The Four Agreements, which is a really cool book. Oh. Yeah, I guess it just depends, like kind of everything, like yeah. self help, fiction, gotcha. anything. You go. Career well. Oh wait, books. Oh yeah. Sorry, I was reading David Goggins. Um, never finished. I just finished that one. And I'm on this book. It's called Think Like a Monk by Jay Shetty. It's a really good meditation book. Um, the next thing I was gonna go into was careers. I saw a comment and it mentioned something about you. Um, wanted to date like a doctor or something it had something about you marrying somebody but then you commented back and you're like I'm in school studying this right now so like screw off basically uh, can you talk about your career <laughs> goals I should say <laughs> screw off someone said like yeah this is great these girls will go on to marry some doctor yeah, and I replied like I'm actually pre-med so hopefully I'll be the doctor with like a good. smiley uh, yeah, face I, remember <laughs> that. That's a good I saw that career wise what is your goals for the future and what do you study so I'm pre-med um, and I'm also getting a business minor so I'll take the MCAT this summer then apply to med schools I'll take my fifth year here at UNL and then hopefully go on to med school um, I'm going to apply to some schools in Arizona Texas and the Carolinas get out of the Midwest for a little bit mm-hmm. um, I want to do dermatology and aesthetics is my goal and I want to own my own practice which that may change when I'm in med school my specialty but that's what I want right now really? and are you going to compete when you transfer over do you have eligibility so yet? I'll do I'll do five in my undergrad so I'll take this next fall and spring after this semester still in my undergrad and okay. then graduate so that's when I'll be applying to the medical schools and going through interviews mm-hmm. and then I'll be done with eligibility and then I'll go on to med schools um, I'm pre-nursing, but my degree is human development and family science, and then I'm also a business minor. Um, so after my fifth year, I'll be back for mine too, finish my eligibility, and then I'll go to nursing school. And then I think long-term goal is probably be like a nurse practitioner, so go back to school um, and hopefully open up my own practice too. And yeah, that's the goal right now. Gotcha. We'll see though. So when it comes to you guys' own practice, has that been something you have like always wanted to do? Like, are your parents also owners of their own practice? Yeah. Yeah. So my dad and her dad too, but own their own business, and so he's just kind of taught me that that's like really important, and it's just made his life and like our family's life so much more free and easy. He's able to like come to all my sporting events, at least more when I was like living at home and stuff. Yeah. But just having a lot of flexibility and just kind of like setting them up for like a really nice lifestyle. So that's always kind of something I wanted to do. Yeah, same. Okay, okay, those are the vibes we like. Yo, that's <laughs> crazy because we actually, a couple of weeks ago, we had a couple of uh, business-minded people who came on and talked about finances, being an entrepreneur, you know, having their own business. Like it's pretty insane how a lot of us are now diving into that type of mindset. Mm-hmm. And especially in our generation compared to uh, beforehand, it was a lot of people just like, okay, nine to five, nine to five. Mm-hmm. You know, there's nothing wrong with that, but just like having your own business, I feel like it's very important. Yeah. So that's that's really good to hear. Next topic that I wanted to dive into here is going to be it's going to be a little bit of a transition. But what is your guys' idea of a perfect relationship? If you guys have one. Um. Or right now. Perfect partner, either or. I'm in a relationship with myself. 
Hey, so we right talked now, about that the other day. About this yes. Right now, I, I have like a lot of dreams I want to accomplish, a lot of goals, a lot of ambition, things I want to do and see. So like right now, I am just trying to build my dream life nice. for myself and by myself. I'm in the exact same boat. <laughs> and I've been building this, or at least trying to build this dream life for like a little while now. So Jess just got on board. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, hey. With it. So have you guys ever thought of or ever made like um, like a vision board for your yeah. plans or your goals? Yeah. Yep. Okay, that's really good. All right, all right. I just wanted to see what the mindset was. Everyone, you got a vision board? A journal. Jess has been doing them every month. Oh yeah. Vision, mm -hmm. So, so I have so I have a, a year vision board and then I have like monthly like what's coming in the month kind of like what I'm anticipating. Oh, that's those cool. kind of things and I make like a monthly one too. Okay, I, I never heard of the monthly ones. I'm gonna have to tap in with that. No, yeah. some people don't like looking too far into the future, but I mean, if you guys were to like paint a, a like a picture for yourselves five years down the road from now, if you stay on this path, like where would you guys want to be? Graduating medical school. Um, Starting my residency, like getting into my dream job. Starting my career. Um, I don't know, like a, a good balance. Really knowing myself, understanding myself. Like, I don't know, like incorporating all the little things that I love into my everyday life. Like living in a space that I, I don't know. I just really like my routine. I like mm -hmm. my alone time. I like all those kind of things are really important right. to me right now. So we'll see if that, that will obviously change as time goes on. But for now. That's what I want. Do you think five years ago you would have been having the same conversation with yourself? Or do you think it like no. took time to get to like this level of maturity? I think it took time. Definitely. Was there time. like a specific moment where you like where it clicked to you getting into this transition in your life? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> um, like an epiphany. I wouldn't say yeah. like a specific moment. I would say I kind of like felt it on my heart. Mm. And I don't want to get too far into you it go too but hard, was, you go too <laughs> was just like um i don't know it's like you're presented with two options it's like stay comfortable and remain or mm -hmm. like get uncomfortable and evolve and i just kept like persisting and eventually it was like it's time to evolve like it's time to do what is on my heart and what mm -hmm. i need to do and so i did it i like um, that I a lot like of people that. have different mentalities with that like whenever i thought of um like evolving and change. I always thought it was like a, like a physical thing, right? But yeah. like mentally and spiritually, like that's really hard to do to be able to tell yourself like you feel complacent and to be able yeah. to make that switch like that. Like that's really hard to do. It really so. is. Yeah, it definitely is. And I feel like that's why, uh, like how you were mentioning like being in your own practice, your own routine in your own space. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the difference between that. Like a lot of people don't know how to be in mm -hmm. their own space. So they don't know how to dive into like how they are mentally and how they need to change. And so they don't get that realization. So I feel like a lot of people, like if you're watching this, you have to start being more comfortable with being alone, getting in your space and actually understanding what moves you're making now and how to change those. Preach. That may be hard, it may be dark, but it's something that has to be done in order for you to evolve, like you said. Yeah. But yeah. What about you, Ash? Um, what was the question again? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I, I forgot. Um, <laughs> was there any moment in your life, or your question? Well, no, we really? like spun off it, though. What, yeah, we, we yeah. spun we off did. to ask there me when I decided. Well, was, you were saying, where would you like your life in five years? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, in five Great years, uh, in five years, hopefully I'll have accomplished like all my goals athletic, athletically. Um, I would really, really love to go study abroad somewhere or just do some traveling like be either before or after I go to nursing school. Um, and yeah, I don't really know exactly what the future holds. My younger sister is probably going to play basketball in college, so potentially going to nursing school where she plays basketball so I could wow. watch her and be just be closer to my family. But yeah, it's kind of scary because it's like I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do, but it's also, like Jess was talking about, kind of really exciting and freeing because it's like nothing's holding me back like right. mm -hmm. yeah so the sky's the limit we'll, we'll see <laughs> I'm the same way like I don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow but I mean you just gotta look like to the fullest man for real mm. just going with it All so right, um outside of that if I were to ask a group of people who you guys know outside of Jess and Ashley five people how they would describe you like five adjectives to describe you what do you think they would say I think they'd say funny for both of us, or for, for are you, you saying personally, or for what is it? I both, think for both, both of us. All right, we'll, oh, okay. we'll say yeah, twin flames. Let's get it. <laughs> twin flames. Okay, I think they'd say funny. At least I hope. Yeah. Um. I, they'd probably say like outgoing. Yeah. Or extroverted. Yeah. 
Um, for me, not so much. For Ash, they'd probably say blunt. <laughs> Maybe they'd say kind for me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, this is hard. I'd say hardworking for both of us. Yeah, yeah. like ambitious. And motivated, like mm-hmm. goal-oriented. Yeah. I don't know. What like about you going? For me? Mm-hmm. Five people. Oh, Jesus. Five, oh. five people to describe five you. <laughs> five people, five adjectives. Oh, Jesus. Um, oh, my goodness. I don't know. I guess I would say introverted, but extroverted. Like, I don't, I, I have a lot of moments where I'm just, like, straight zone, like, to myself. Um, I say uh, motivating, uh, inspiring, but calm. And, hmm, I got one more. I don't know. It's well, hard. how do you have five people describe you when you only follow three back? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, I that, is, I that is fair. That is fair. That's, that's what's really, kidding. no, that's true. But that's like, what's really hard for me is like, um, I don't know. It's always been interesting for me having like those really tight connections with people. Um, because like all I've had in my life is my family and like I moved around so much. So like if I, always, if I ever feel like I, um, either I'm not appreciated or like, I just don't fit in someone's life, then I kind of like exit myself. Mm-hmm. So like, I mean, that's just outside of just the social media stuff. That's just like in general. Mm-hmm. So like, I don't always like find myself with a lot of people and mm-hmm. stuff. And I even hear like from a lot of people, like people say that I'm like, oh, you're stuck up. You think you're all this and all that. But in reality, I'm just like. I'm just like to myself, and I feel like, you know, um, mm-hmm. you know, it's kind of interesting. Yeah, yeah, it's totally. Interesting. Ash, what's five adjectives you would describe Chris with? Um, uh, wait, what is he always trying to do? He's always trying to. It's like when you're talking, like trying to, big make a big group. You're always, you always say this, like. A, Nobody knows what I'm talking about. No idea what you're talking about. It's like when you're trying to like market yourself to people, Uh, but I can't. So branding or no, it's something else, but I can't think of the word. Mm. Network. Network. Um, Okay. Five adjectives to describe you. (laughs) Help me out. I'd say. (laughs) say um, Definitely like outgoing. I'd say uh, yeah, outgoing, hardworking, um, funny. Really? Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes Somewhat funny. funny. Yeah. <laughs> On the border of funny. Yeah, yeah. you're getting Mid funny. Uh, Mid. Yeah, Mid-wise. that's five, right? <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll take those. We'll take those. We'll take those. <laughs> One, two, three, five. Yeah. yeah. Next, I got the next yeah. hypothetical scenario. What would you, or would you take something that removes your body's need for sleep if it was given to you? I don't why think so. Why not? Oh, sorry. I, I don't think so because. Like, we were talking about routines. Like, I don't think I'd want to give up my bedtime routine. Yeah. Like, lighting my candles, reading my book, like, journaling. washing my face, journaling. Uh-huh. Like, if I never had to go to sleep, I couldn't do my nighttime routine. So, you no. You do it, but you're not well, going to sleep. Well, that'd be weird. Right. Is it, like, <laughs> if you take it, you're never sleeping again. Never sleeping again. <coughs> no. You sleep if it was like a, your life. If it was like... There's nothing like a good uh, night's rest. Yeah. You need a break <laughs> But if you didn't need it, because also, true. like... I don't know. Sometimes I feel like it'd be, be so nice. freaking productive. But I work. I, I work best. Ash knows yeah, best. Yeah, at strange like, hours. Like when no, nobody can disturb. No, it's me. actually weird. Like she'll be <laughs> she'll be up at like two. Like her business hours is like two a.m. <laughs> to like four a.m. Oh my god! And like I'll like, so be like sleeping. Sometimes yeah. I'll go to bed at like eight or nine and wake up at like two. No, it's insane. Just between two to four, like when I cannot be disturbed by absolutely anyone. Like the world is asleep. Uh, I grind like crazy. Or I get just, so much done. I'll be asleep oh, and I'm like peacefully cool. asleep, and I'll just hear. The like laundry. <laughs> <laughs> like, why are we doing laundry like, I'm at doing three a.m.? I'm do- those are like my working hours. Like when, because oh, no. it's like I get into a conversation and then me and Ash are chatting for hours yeah. and I get nothing done. But like, I will get such quality studying done or like such good cleaning done between <laughs> the hours of two to four. Do you guys only live together, or is there other? No, other Jade lives with us. Oh man. Yeah. Does she get mad at the two or no? She's in the basement. Yeah, Jade. She knows. Yeah, she's not close, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> I'm like, are you kidding? Like, seriously, what's going on? <laughs> oh my god. That's wait, really unique. I've never heard wait, something like this. Wait, yeah. Have you ever thought she's of just really like, something? <laughs> what? Have you ever thought of just waking up earlier, like 
That is well, sometimes day, I do. Sometimes I wake up at like four and. and you get active. <laughs> it's like nobody can. It is up. It's like. Perfect. It's very peaceful. There's nothing about it. You know? Is this it like is. something this about thing, it, or is this like a? No, just it more like it, last it was year. more like <laughs> two years when we were in yeah. canopy. I'd say it was the most. She was up to no good. <laughs> no, <laughs> it wasn't even that. Or it's like track trips, like. Oh, I'm really tired. Like, I'm going to shower, hop in bed now, and I'll wake up at four and pass. Sometimes, mm. yeah, she'd be like, I just think I'm just not going to go to bed. And I was like, what? Oh. She's like, yeah, I got to pack. Like, I'm just, I don't know if I'm going to. I was like, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm a lot. Like, I go to bed earlier now, and I, do, I haven't done that yeah. this semester. She's, the crazy she's sleep just had to grind. But seriously, can I can be so productive. Those hours are like, nothing's like it. Honestly, so like, you don't need the sleep. Like that's what this is telling me. Like you really don't even need the sleep. No, because I I'd, I'd sleep around it. It's just like I'd get up and spend some time. You're like catching REMs at like perfect times. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like getting like yeah. a nice three hours. Just like calculated. Okay. <laughs> catching REMs at perfect times. Oh my goodness. Oh man, these are gonna be some good questions. Then. So for the next question, some what would questions. you do if you can go back in time and learn something sooner, and how would it change things? <sighs> Oh, brother. Oh, brother. What, you have something? No, I don't. <laughs> go back and learn something sooner. You can take your time. Sooner. Sooner. You can get some type of information. Go back in time. What would it change? I think mm -hmm. that if I would have learned how to stand up for myself sooner, I wouldn't have stayed in gymnastics for as long as I did. Because mm. I think that... 14 years, right? 11. 11. That's but I think that, time. but till I was 14, so close. Oh, yeah, it's our 14. 14 years long. I think that <laughs> the reason. Sorry. Why was it so long. funny? I, don't know, I, just cracked my um, three years off. I was so good at gymnastics, was because I was really obedient. And I don't know, at times it was like a really harsh environment, but I kind of just took it and did what I was told to do. And it all worked out because I ended up where I am now. Right. But had I learned then to stand up for myself, I wouldn't have stayed in it as long as I did. So you would have stopped at like seven years in, five years in? Yeah, probably before like middle school. Mm. Do you think it helped you with your pole vaulting? Oh, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Mm. For sure. Okay, okay. Ash? Mm, I think, wait, sorry. What was the exact wording the on the exact question? question. Like, do you have it or not? Um, what would you do if you could go back in time and learn something sooner, and how would it change things? Okay, so, when I was in eighth grade, I got hurt playing basketball. You were basketball, huh? Oh, yeah. Hooper. I was a hooper. Anyway, I passed to the wing. I cut, and I got undercut, like, when I went up for the shot. And so, I fractured two bones in my back. Oh, shoot. And, um, so that was really scary. And at first, they thought I, like, broke my hip. So, I got wheeled out on a stretcher, and it was this whole ordeal um but anyway my parents were more my dad was kind of just like a like tough and I needed crutches and stuff so, but he would like move them around so I'd have to like walk to them and like that kind of thing like trying wow. to get me to like I don't know like not not be a baby and not use them and um they like kind of encouraged me to play in my last basketball game and they've already like apologized and everything you and it wasn't broken. that it wasn't that big of a deal but I wish I wouldn't have played in my last basketball game because I had been working really hard and when I went and played, like I felt like I'd lost like all my progress. Mm. And kind of after that, I just didn't really like basketball anymore. So that was kind of a bummer. But yeah, yeah. that's it. <laughs> you were broken. I was. And he was moving your crutches. <laughs> yeah, like I, all I had to do is like heal, but oh yeah. Gosh. He was like, you know what? Let's play hide and seek real quick. He was just, just like, you got to try and walk on your own. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Oh my yeah. Is that right after that? Is that where you found the love for track, or did you were you already a track athlete? Um, no, I was already a track athlete. Okay. Yeah, I actually when I was younger, I did gymnastics too. I didn't do it as long as Jess, but um, I was doing it to the point where I was training like over twenty four hours a week while mm -hmm. trying to juggle yeah. like track, basketball, and soccer. So That's I just kind of had to make a decision. Like, I I lost my love for it. So I, then I started doing the other three sports. You were a Mozart. So. Hey, well, it all worked out. Yeah, Bro, yeah it worked crazy. out. <laughs> That's yeah. insane. I did not know you played basketball. So let's see. You got the next one. What? Oh, no. Okay, which would you prefer? <laughs> A great love relationship that lasts a year or a mediocre relationship that lasts your entire life? A great one that lasts a year. Yeah, same. Mm. Why? Because, like, life's too short for anything to be mediocre. Agreed. 
And it's like, yeah, your whole life being mediocre. That's nah. sad. Nah. No thanks. <laughs> so you would be cool with living the rest of your life single? Yeah. Yeah. In fact, I'd prefer it. No, I'm just <laughs> kidding. <laughs> I'm on my own. Hey, Nico, what would you do, bro? What would I do? Oh, yeah. yeah, the one year. Yeah, I'm one year too. It already happened. One year for just me. kidding. Oh, uh, <laughs> which social media platform would you choose to own, and what would you change about it if you could? Elon Musk. <laughs> I would probably choose Twitter. Really? Hey. And I'd take off all news and like sports stuff and like just funny stuff on Twitter. <laughs> just memes? I would yeah. like that. I would like that. <laughs> that's, actually a good, that's a really good answer. That's my whole... I, I hate there, getting but... on there and it's like sports where I'm like, come on, where's the, where's where's the, the good the stuff? Where's the good stuff? <laughs> Give me the good stuff. No, the Twitter funny is a goods. different type of funny. Like, <laughs> they don't hold back. Bro. I know. They do not hold back. It's crazy. Twitter is a menace society. Yeah, it's Twitter. so funny. I don't be up there, but oh. when I see Twitter stuff, I'm like, wow, this stuff is free? Like, this is good it's stuff. It's Good content. Someone needs to do that. I have no idea. I, 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 inconclusive. I don't know. Conclusion. Like, like, no idea at all. Like, you wouldn't want Snapchat. You wouldn't want. No. See, I'm kind of. She's kind of making me like one foot out the door with Snapchat. Like, uh. I don't know. She's not on it anymore. She has a funny story about. I'm terrible at Snapchat. I've always been terrible at Snapchat. So oh, that's why. Yeah. Partially, I got rid of it too because it's like, I just cannot keep. Jess up. is just bad at Snap. Like, I'm bad at streaks. I'm bad at. Yeah, like, in, I would have, like, do streaks or stuff, right? <laughs> and so I just send Jess, like, my friend, like, my best friend that I my live roommate. with. Like, keep in mind. I send her a picture. She say, did you mean to send me that? Or she said, why did you send me that? I'm like, <laughs> um, okay. I don't get it. Like, I'll see you when I'm home. Yeah. Like, I remember what you look like. You know? Wow. It's like, why are we doing what is this? this? What is this? And Your it's like, face? if someone's far away, like, you can FaceTime. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just like, what are we doing? Like, no, at what age do we let go of yeah. Snapchat? I agree with you because I, that's exactly why I'm like, people are like, people are just trying to, you know, do streaks, be nice. I'm like, bro, you're sending me yeah, your I face Yeah, I think streaks is done. But. <laughs> it's done. Hey. I mean, it was, it was there for a moment. Yeah, it yeah. was. It's all for a moment. Oh, this next question's a little rough. Oh, you got it? Um, <laughs> which part of your body would you eat if you had to eat one part of your body or would you die, die or horrific death? Yeah. Or um, die a horrific death. Yeah, I mean, the, the, <laughs> what? the levels to this are just yeah, I don't so know where I got weird. This it's very deep. Tough. We'll take it. We'll yeah, take it. Doing? Eating a part of your body yeah, or part. are you going to be folded and soft. tortured and have a bamboo shoot put in your nail? Oh, my All right, yeah, that was crazy. Okay. Well, I'll, I'd that probably be eating bad. something, but but I feel weird about it. What are you, what are you eating? Yeah. I'd probably eat, like, my toe or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, what else do you eat? <laughs> Don't answer So, like, that. the whole <laughs> toe or, like, just, like, a piece of I hate to say it, toe? but, like, yeah, what, what else like, do you eat? Like my toe, like, like, like pinky toe, like. But, like, people will see that, like, your hands. <laughs> yeah, but then you tell people, like, <laughs> she nuts. Toes, like that's. No, pinky um, toe, I think, but. Yeah, because it's not like the most useless toe, too. Yeah. Why? It's they're important. Yeah, well, more important than like. I was thinking think, ear, yeah, but no, I, I can't do that. Yeah, you would look. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. Anyone that's out there without an ear, I apologize. Next question. Yeah. <laughs> that's a wrap. You could like maybe like it's grind done. up one of your teeth. What would you do if the I'm evolution? Of, oh, if wait, what? Oh, what would evolution. you do in the evolution of the human body if you could? Weirdly worded. Like change to progress. So you could, if you yeah. were in charge of human evolution, like would it be have wings next year or what? Oh, that would be nice. I mean, pretty be dope. No. I think I'd, well, I don't know, actually. I'm thinking supersonic speed. <laughs> I'm thinking like the ability to like walk through walls. Yo. Oh, yeah. That'd be pretty cool. We would have people robbing banks. <laughs> She's an ant. You said, not my problem. <laughs> I am not a security guard. <laughs> yeah. Same thing. Yeah, I'm at a I'm at a loss. I don't know. Or what, like, what's the one where you're here one minute and then you're somewhere else the next? Like teleportation. Yeah, teleport. Teleportation. teleportation. Robin Banks that way too. <laughs> that way, so Your that's mind goes this to a bad spot when we think of superpowers, huh? Um, see, if I were to get superpowers, I'd be like an antihero. I wouldn't be a villain, but I wouldn't be like oh, I'm gonna go save antihero? everyone. Antihero. You like Taylor Swift? Like, what? <laughs> His <laughs> feet? What? Yeah. Oh my gosh. This is supposed to be like an extra finger, like like not super power, like superpowers. Oh, well, we yeah, got there. Yeah, that's what I kind of thought too. We, wait, we're talking oh. about like adaption, right? Of evolution. Body, like, 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 like what? So yeah, lose a toe, like the process of like the, Gain a finger. The gorilla a to the human. 
You know yeah. what I'm talking about? Like okay. that keeps progressing. It's not like that, and then it's like they it's suddenly they're like teleporting. Yeah. <laughs> Why did you say teleport? Like over time, you lose hair because back in the day, like bro, she clothing, said like, teleportation. Were... So I was like, okay, I'm gonna get to it. You know? Okay, I want wings. Okay, I want breathing what, water. What would I learn about you if I had the opportunity to speak with someone who disliked you? Um, maybe you'd learn that I'm really stubborn. Um, and can be very passive aggressive. <laughs> I don't know. Also, I don't know. Just uh, passive aggressive. You. She won't say it, but you can tell she's upset. Yeah. Exactly. Um. You would probably learn that I'm confrontational and I call people out on their stuff. Really. I've never seen that side of you. That's probably good. That's probably for the best. <laughs> That's probably for the best. Have you lost friends for being confrontational or passive aggressive? Mm mm. I've kept my friends through passive aggressive <laughs> <laughs> and less confrontational. Um, no, because I feel like the friends that I have know how I am and I don't know. Usually we talk about it and we work through it. It's very mature for friends. Huh? <laughs> um, okay. The people who dislike you. Oh, that, what is it called? Oh, I ghost people? Cut people off? That's so evil. Ghosting. <laughs> yeah. What? How? How? I feel like it's so much better to send it like a... I agree. To like, be know? mature and, like, tell them why you're not talking to them anymore. The worst, though, is sending something like that and then getting, like, no reply. It's like, <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. damn, I should have ghosted closure, you. Though, like. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. I mean, it depends Ooh. how long you've been, like, in contact with them, but at some point, like... I don't just know. No I feel like it's the right thing to do. Would be hurtful. Well, exactly. Like that's kind of the point behind it. Like if somebody really hurt you, I feel like the the, oh, the see, best, the worst thing you could do would be would be to ghost them. I don't. I don't do it to hurt anyone. I just do it because you know I don't want any of that energy that around me anymore. And you're being you know, passive. in my life. Yeah. You know. <laughs> is it passive aggressive? That is that that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't do this. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not that. I'm pac- passive aggressive in person. If I have like, I'm fine saying things to people yeah. if I don't want to. That means Chris, what's this question? Which one? The bottom of the back. Um. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Next Hold one, on. You can say that one. <laughs> what is it? Something about pets? Nah, it's, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> what it, it's in my phone <laughs> the right way, but it's not. Okay, if you had a chance to make a video with Drake or Jack Harlow, who would you choose and why? A music video. A music video. Jack Harlow, I think. <laughs> what? Why? I just really like him. I don't <laughs> know. Because a I lot just, of girls love this dude. So I like, think he's fun. Like, he's and funny. I've seen him on interviews, and he's really funny, and he's just like, He's just got something special. I don't know. He he's is really there. funny. I'd have to say Drake, though, just because it's Drake. Drake? Okay. He doesn't, Drake miss. He doesn't miss. He does not miss. He, uh, I don't even want to talk about Drake right now. Okay. <laughs> who is someone you keep up with on social media who inspires you? Ash. <laughs> yeah, <Nice>. Jess. <laughs> Oh. I was really rooting for her to pass this guy Chris Ramsey and follow wow. him on Instagram. <laughs> and I'm rooting for Chris to pass her back. It's going to happen. Who's going to get to a million first is the question. A are we million? going? A are we doing a that? Million. Can we do that? Hey, it's embedded in the podcast. I feel like, I don't do know like if a, I could. like a hundred or like 70. Mil, like, I don't feel I like I would win. Why? I just, I just, my confidence on that. Jess is amazing. Oh, thank She's you. She's growing fast, but like. It's a game. I mean, like, you got to 40 really fast. She yeah. was at 10. She hit a boost. You're, she's at 43 you, now. You know what's crazy? I only did that because, um, okay, Nick, oh, he made yeah. a comment on, on you having more followers than me on Instagram. Oh, you yeah. knew before I said something? Uh-huh. Oh. So, uh, what was the situation? We were at my old house, and he was looking at um, our TikToks. I don't even know why he does what he does, but he was looking at our social medias. He was like, you know what's crazy, bro? I'm like, what's up? He was like, why, is, why do you have more followers than Jess on TikTok, but she has 10,000, you only have 2,000 followers on Instagram? Mm. I was all like, oh, okay, watch this. <laughs> and then, like, two months later, I'm at, I'm at, like, 30, and I'm like, bro, I'm getting up. And I was like, it wasn't for you. It was for him. But it's like, you inspired, <laughs> you motivated like you me, you know? You motivated it's like a me. back and forth contest. I'm all for it. You all for it? I'm okay. the passenger no, shoe. You want, you, want, you want to do it? You want to make a bet? See what are we first, going to, 100? First to 100? Mill? First to a hundred. A hundred thousand? Ah, uh, he's to a hundred, yeah, because that'd First be First to a hundred on Instagram gets what? Mm. 
Scooter's yeah, gift card for me. What do you Scooter's want? gift card. What do you want? What do I want? How much is a Scooter's gift card? I want to do something a million. the same like a million, a hundred thousand <laughs> dollars. <laughs> we yeah. have that. Okay. I think five thousand should suffice. Yeah, I think a nice. Grand. No, I'm just kidding. I was like, okay, <laughs> okay good now. <laughs> We can we can figure it out. Okay, we'll figure it out. Let's just okay, we'll figure it out and we'll yeah. We'll Before talk about that. it. It'll be somewhere in the comments, somewhere down there. Somewhere. Okay, give me a second. <laughs> like um okay, okay. Have you have you guys ever seen like the live Tinder videos? Like where the Okay, I'm gonna explain this. Basically, how it happens is it's like Tinder, you have a guy or a girl, and then you have all like a whole bunch of options. They pull up and you're like, yes, no, yes, no. You Are you explaining about? how Tinder works? Yes, exactly. <laughs> but it's in person. It's in person. Would you ever participate in a live one, like in person? Oh. One? Yeah. So like it's like more speed like dating. dating. Yeah, speed. Like, is that speed dating? Text yes, no. Yeah, yes, you aren't meeting them. About. You're just like yes or at no. This yeah, point, yeah, yeah, yeah. At this point, probably not. Yeah, no. Yeah. At this point, you guys' lives. Yeah, yeah, no. No. I am it's, not interested in online dating. No. Yeah. Oh, that sounds dating. miserable. It sounds bad. I'm gonna show you guys a video after this. It's hilarious, but we'll we'll get into that later. Um, so I want to hear about because you guys are you guys know each other so well, best friends forever. I want to know about some traits that you guys like about each other. Like what draws you to each other? Okay, I'll go first. I like that Jess is really hardworking and very motivated. I like that she's goal oriented and creative, and likes to have fun. Um, that she's loyal and reliable and funny. Thank yeah, you. a lot of thanks. <laughs> um, Ash is really funny. She's really kind-hearted and like does really caring gestures for the people that she cares about. Um, Ash also is like very relaxed and helps me be a little more relaxed and have fun. And um, she's always been really loyal and supportive. Mm. I like that. Turn, she's also nice. the funniest person ever. <laughs> oh shit. What are you talking about? Oh, I was gonna say you do the same thing. I do the oh, same oh, thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, for you? and now Chris oh, tells us like, yeah. what you like about now me. Now Chris and Nico oh, are ready. Okay, Chris okay, Nico, okay. We've been, been waiting. Um, okay, let's get to it. Let's do this. Let's do this. You want me to go first? I got it. Okay, your drip is amazing. Oh, thank you. Style is on ten. You know, you don't Thanks. need Nick's help for anything. Your shoe wow. game. Thank yeah, you. I'm, I'm, Straight up, straight up, straight up. Okay, so the style, the drip. Okay, um, also the pole vaulting um, is pretty, <laughs> pretty next level. You know, Thank me you. personally, I look at that and I'm like, <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. <laughs> no. I look at that and I'm like, uh. <laughs> how, <laughs> how? <laughs> there uh, she goes. <laughs> um, um, Jesus. All right, now. Yes. You. Your energy. <laughs> yeah, I think Ash. Yeah. No, no, no. He's your like energy. Stalling. I like. I like your energy. Thanks. Like your vibe. You're very. Your your energy is nice and hyper. I like that. Yours is calm, collective. I like that. So you guys really complement each other well. Oh, not even gonna lie. <laughs> you got flipped. You no. think I'm the calm one? Yeah. Bro, what? Okay. Oh. Maybe because I have like a different if, relationship. If, I'm gonna talk to Ash, and she's like, on ten, you know. I guess it. Yeah. It depends, because yeah. also when we're together, depends. we're both pretty mm -hmm. up there. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm glad you think I'm calm and collected, though. <laughs> no, <laughs> when I'm really hard and collected. I'm like, oh, no, but I think of Ash, like it's like her dance at the bowling alley, like like you know, yeah. she was <laughs> <laughs> she's a strike, they're going crazy. Like I don't know, I guess we'll have like a like a sitting calm, drinking coffee in the sauna. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, like, reading, reading books in the yeah. sauna. Yeah. yeah. Not drinking coffee in the sauna. We have both it depends sides. on the yeah. We have both sides. Depends on the vibe type stuff. But yeah, I also like uh, your perseverance through uh, the training, like the jumps. I've noticed there's a lot going on with that, and mm -hmm. I like how you're still striving through that, Thank and you. your achievements with that as well. Thank you. Um, so yeah, those are those are my outlooks on you guys. You too. Thank you. Thanks. Chris. Appreciate it. Chris. Your turn. What? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. All right. Good. Just yes. keep going. Never stop. <laughs> I'm just throwing them out there. Hmm. Okay. Let's start with uh, Jess. Uh, I like your self care routines. I think that's really like moving and impactful. Thank um, you. I don't know. I just find that super inspiring. Like, cause everything that's going on on social media. I don't really know you too well. Like, I saw you go bowling together. Um, <laughs> yeah. Besides that, like, we don't really talk like that. But um, after talking to you on this podcast today, like, you know, all the self care stuff. Um, you want to be independent. I feel like that's really big. Like, when I asked you what question I asked you at the beginning, it was something about oh, your idea of a perfect relationship. I honestly wasn't expecting you to say yourself like that. Kind of like 
took me to the side like dang like that's actually a really like powerful answer so thank you i thought that was really cool and for you you are a fun person <laughs> i feel like anytime um like i hear about you or um, just and with you in public it's always like good vibes and just like positive energy and i feel like not a lot of people like, really possess that so Thanks. that's what appreciate it that's the cool thing about you too thank and you i didn't know you guys lived together either really i didn't yeah, know that know. either i thought you guys were just like really cool i didn't know you guys lived together yeah big facts, big facts. we have deep conversations every night like at least really? twice yeah. yeah yeah like we're philosophers <laughs> yeah so we think oh, we are like, those are like the best conversations <laughs> oh my yeah. god you guys have any philosophy wisdom to share on this podcast oh, oh we have so we much but, but, but nothing, probably, yeah <laughs> probably nothing we can share on the podcast this week mm. no, that's fine that's fine you guys want to have a closing statement or are you guys good to wrap up this podcast um i'll just say thanks for having us on and it's fun to meet everyone and <laughs> <laughs> i don't know yeah thank you guys for having yeah thanks for having us chris go ahead and close this up all right all right so we just had two fantabulistic (laughs) guests tonight it it was amazing we learned a lot about them um i learned that they're beasts at bowling and that their routines (laughs) did you lose What's I crazy is I've never, never been good until we started. Yeah, I don't know uh, what she does. Like, she just throws it super straight. And then you have Ash here. She does this BS. She's like this. Like, <laughs> 150 <laughs> miles a damn hour. It's so annoying. It's the legs. It's the legs. Like, literally, she just like does this jumping thing. And Coach Johnson might have taught her that. Or something. I don't know how she got that. But me and Michaela are going to come back soon. Hey, man. You well, we'll see. see. We made fans married. at the bowling alley. We, yeah, yeah, we they made fans at the bowling alley. Y'all, got, y'all had fans? This guy was like, go, Ash. Go, Ash. And I was like, yeah. And she starts dancing, and this dude's like, whoop, whoop, in the back. Yeah. Oh, my god! Like, like, getting gutter balls, and this dude's looking and winking, like, oh, he sucks. Like, oh. like <laughs> why are you playing with this guy? And they were, like, so like, with like, their oh. haters, bro. Like, yeah. haters. Like, How does that feel? How does that? It felt pretty degrading, not going to lie. Like, you just got to be better. I guess so. Right? It's okay. See? So. Get like that. We're going to get our two lovely guests here, some uh, Timeless Talks merch. Don't forget to go to www.timelesstalks.org to get yours today. And yeah, that's time to talk. So uh, until next time, peace.